Welcome to the Oak & Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Alright guys, this is a new series I'm going to be doing every month. I'm going to be reviewing some craft distillery products. Products that just don't have great distribution. I'm going to be reviewing these whiskeys so you'll have some kind of idea if you do run across these products, if it's something you want to pull the trigger on or not. Alright, today we have Copper Craft Distillery products. They were kind enough to send me these two bottles to review for you. They sent their straight bourbon whiskey and their blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. And saying that, just because these are gifts, they are fully aware that I'm going to give an honest review no matter what. So if this whiskey's bad, I'm definitely going to let you know that it's bad, even though these are gifts. That being said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Coppercraft Distillery. Coppercraft Distillery was founded in 2012 in Holland, Michigan. They have recently teamed up with master blender Nancy Fraley. You guys might know her from the Joseph Magnus line who has incorporated a traditional cognac method to help him create their new selection of American craft blended whiskeys. The first whiskey we're going to be going over is their straight bourbon whiskey. This is a blend of four plus year old and 11 plus year old sourced bourbons. They're also using a brandy blending and proofing technique that takes three months to get them from the barrel to the bottle. This is 97 proof. 48.5% ABV and the MSRP on this whiskey is around $55. On the color, the color on this whiskey is a nice copper color, a deep amber. See how it sticks to the glass, See the, check out the viscosity of the legs on this whiskey. It seems to be coating the glass I guess decently. It's not real viscous and, and, and thick. It doesn't have real thick legs. Um, the legs are starting to thicken up a little bit, but it's not super viscous, you can tell by the way it's sticking to the glass. Um, yeah, it's got a nice color. Looks like the viscosity on this one could be questionable, but it is actually starting to stick to the glass a little bit better now. All right, let's get into the nose of this whiskey. On the nose, on the nose, I'm getting vanillas and caramels. It does seem a little light. Kind of having to dig a little deep into the glass to, to get the aromas off the whiskey. Vanillas, caramels, A nice musty oak note. It's a, definitely a, a funky, musty, oaky note to this whiskey. Caramels, vanillas. Maybe a little bit of clove. And a little bit of a, a honey note is there also. Dart on the nose, it's mainly caramels, vanillas, honeys, a little bit of clove, and a nice musty oak note. Let's get into the taste. All right, on the taste, cheers. Front of the palate, there's a little bit of vanilla caramel. Mid palate, it thins out. And on the finish is a that musty, musty oak oak note. Um, kind of lingers around with a little bit of vanilla in there also. Let's go in for another sip. Cheers. It's interesting. Um, the vanilla caramel are still up front. Mid palate on the second sip is is, is drying out. 
Um, it gets a little dry, and the oak note is definitely what's lingering on the finish. A little bit of oak and vanilla. Let's go in for one more sip. Cheers. Definitely drying out a little bit. Maybe even get a little bit of a a clove on that one, but on the front of the palate, it's still sweetness with caramels, honeys, vanilla. Mid palate is drying out. It's a little bit of clove and that nice musty oak note. Let's get in the next whiskey. All right, the second Coppercraft product we've got is their blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Pretty much the same thing going on with this one as the first, except the four-year-old whiskey, and this is actually a Coppercraft whiskey. So it's a blend of a four-year Coppercraft whiskey, an 11-year-old source bourbon, and they're also using the brandy blending and proofing techniques on this whiskey also. It is 100 proof, 50% ABV, and the MSRP on this one is around $46. The color, color is pretty much the same as the first whiskey. It's a nice copper. Nice amber color to it. Let's check the viscosity. See how it's sticking to the glass. Let's check that out. This one does seem to be clinging to the glass a little bit better. A little more viscous. A little more viscosity on this one, it seems like. All right, nice color. Looks to be fairly viscous. Let's get into the nose. All right, on the nose. Yeah, this one, okay. This one is much more rich and deep and dense. It's got a lot more character to it. The, the caramel is a lot of richer caramel. The, the vanilla is, is, is a lot more, a, a lot richer than the previous whiskey we just got done tasting. It's a lot more dense and rich, but it has a nice vanilla caramel note. A nice, almost got toffee note on this one. The oak note is not as musty. It's got a nice oak note on this one also. Mostly caramel, vanilla. A nice toffee note. A nice oak note, not near as musty as the previous whiskey we just got done tasting. But it's definitely dense, denser, it's rich. It, it almost, you can almost sense it has a creaminess to it just from the nose. All right, once again, it's vanillas, caramels, and deep, dense caramels and vanillas. Um, the, the oak note is a little more subtle, not as musty. It's a little more well-rounded nose on this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Start on the taste. Cheers. A little bit more creamy mouthfeel to this one. It's not dry. The previous one was dry. This one was not that. It's coating the mouth fairly well. On the entry, it's mostly vanilla caramel. Mid palate's falling a little bit flat, but it does have a nice spicy baking spice note with a nice oak vanilla caramel finish on the first sip. I would say the finish on both these whiskeys is falling a little towards the mid middle of the row maybe leaning towards the short side of things on the finish. Let's go in for another sip. Cheers. All right. Pretty much the same. Very consistent. Vanilla caramel up front. Mid palate did pick up a little bit right there with that, that clovey baking spice note. 
And the finish, I'm going to go ahead and say the finish on this one is definitely a middle of the row, medium finish. It, it actually, on the second sip, the, the finish is lingering a lot more than it was on the first. Um, definitely a nice oak note towards the back of the palate and on the finish, a little bit of caramel and vanilla. Let's go in for another sip. Cheers. All right, once again, vanilla, caramel up front. Mid palate is picking up some nice clove and baking spices. With the vanilla and caramel kind of getting just brought along for the ride. And the finish is ending in a nice, a nice oak note with a little bit of caramel vanilla wrapped in on the oak. Nice third sip. My final thoughts on these two products from Coppercraft Distillery, I think they're okay. I definitely prefer their blend of straight bourbon whiskeys over their straight bourbon whiskey. The straight bourbon whiskey seemed to fall a little bit thin mid-palate, and the finish was leaning a little bit towards the short side of things. This one here was much more viscous and had much more deep, rich characteristics than this one right here. My major concern on these would be the pricing. This one here comes in at $46, and this one here at $55. When you're getting those, when that kind of price range, you're definitely dealing with some heavy hitters. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.